God's World News has been providing current events coverage that helps students live out the gospel. Our print and digital formats make it easy for kids to learn through news stories that are both factual and biblically sound. Good morning. It's Tuesday, March 29th. Whether your march is going out like a lamb or a lion, we're glad you're wrapping it up with us on Top Story. Become a World Watch subscriber today, won't you? And speaking of lambs and lions, you'll enjoy frequent features about God's creatures like Hannah Harris reporting on a very unique hospital where birds of a feather heal together. And I'll tell you about two creatures that are on the march this March. Now, this is Top Story. Thousands of Russians are leaving their homeland, but they're running short on ways to get out of the country. Many European countries have closed their airspace to Russian flights. So people trying to get out of Russia have to road trip or rail trip. This train has been book solid ever since Russian troops invaded Ukraine. It's a European Union train between Moscow and Helsinki, and it just made its last run on Monday, packed with about 700 people leaving Russia. And now we are it. Where this, uh, this unspeakable evil, and uh, everyone seems to be okay with it. Not everyone, of course, but, but many, many people. It's called Brain Drain, the country losing many of its best and brightest. The flight we took, uh, it was full of people, how they say in Russian, just too clever to be to be in this country. Uh, like you, uh, you, you just see people, and you can say that, uh, well, this could could really mm, contribute to innovation, contribute to economy, contribute also to the like just into intellectual climate, the atmosphere of uh, of, so of the society. Some are escaping a government crackdown on anyone who opposes the invasion. Others are worried about the impact of sanctions or the threat of being drafted. And some are afraid that soon they won't even be allowed to leave, like in the days of the Soviet Union. One Russian economist estimated that 200,000 Russians fled the country in just the first 10 days of the war. Make sure to check out the full site at worldwatch.news. You can try out the show free for a month. And thanks for watching, everyone. I'm The Big Bash. Remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.